Jean is our first interviewee of the day. Um, he is serial entrepreneur, indie maker, producer. Uh, so he's got his own podcast now. So, he be a professional yo-yo player. Uh, now digital nomad, freelancer, designer, and developer. You pretty much do everything. <laughs> so uh, yeah, thanks. Hi, thank you so much, James and uh, Danielle. And also a uh, shout out to Dan for doing all the live stream stuff. And, uh, yeah. and sh uh, everybody who is tuning to the live stream, hello, I'm from Singapore. My name is Fajar. Um, I use Twitter <laughs> and make a lot. <laughs> I'm so yeah, we'll, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. <clears throat> right. So, um, yeah, we recently, we recently met you in Singapore. Yeah. Um, which was awesome. Yeah, we had a good time. You, you, did, you did your own interview of us, in fact, in your, in your upcoming thing. Mm -hmm. um, but let's start with like, where, how you got to where you are right now. So when, when we met you, you told us like a really interesting story about how you used to travel and, and play yo-yo and uh, you, you did a lot of traveling for that. So, yeah. <clears throat> and then you made that, you made a switch from, from being a professional yo-yo player to kind of being a freelancer and indie maker. Yeah. Um, so can you, can you tell us a little bit about that, about your backstory, your uh, origin story? My <laughs> origin story, this is exciting. Okay, uh, I, I tried to compress everything within this uh, experience uh, that I, yeah. uh, during my journeys. So <clears throat> I started uh, everything uh, at the age of 19 years old. So it was uh, in the year 2005. So uh, I started to explore on graphic designs and uh, using Photoshop. The, one of the, I think the first few versions of Photoshop, 3.0. And I was using Microsoft awesome. Microsoft Paint. I don't know if you know Microsoft Paint. I think everybody knows what's yeah. Microsoft Paint. I do remember. Yeah, yeah. so I started doing design using Microsoft Paint. <laughs> so, yeah. And after that, uh, I picked up some skills. So um, I didn't uh, graduate from any universities or any, um, like, um, or any school that uh, related to what I'm doing now. Uh, so uh, most of it is uh, just self-taught. So I like to go online and back in the days there was myspace.com. There wasn't a Facebook. So I like to listen to music and then uh, go online and chat in the discussion. So that's how uh, my uh, appearance online uh, became uh, very more active. So there were so many creative people back in MySpace. So uh, yeah. I, I did a lot of graphic designs for these uh, underground bands and music artists from okay. all over the world. So I pick up the skills. I'm so, uh, then I did some basic uh, programming like HTML and CSS. So I start selling from like $10, $20, $50, and it just went up. And then until in year 2011, I started to uh, incorporate uh, the business. So I wasn't really sure about doing this actually because like, uh, because I started off like just uh, as, like you know you're just with your laptop and you want to travel and do the things that you like so you know I didn't know that I should uh, do this seriously so my friend was just saying that hey just do it you know just start charging people give people invoices and start making sales so I was doing all everything uh, the indie way you know the bootstrap way so yeah <clears throat> so I made a lot of sales in 2011, start selling all these services uh, around my circle of uh, friends, uh, my uh, neighbors, my family, and also uh, so many other people from the public. So I use Facebook, uh, I, I jump from MySpace and then to Facebook and then those social media stuff that I do to market. So later on, uh, uh, back in 2012, after the year that I started the company, uh, I went through some challenges in my life. Yeah, so that was really uh, tragic challenges. Like, I lost my mom, I lost my dad, and the following year, in 2013, I lost my brother. So all of them were sick. So, uh, and uh, my, my siblings got married, so everybody moved out. So it was like, suddenly I was alone. So, yeah, so it was very challenging to do business and what you wanna do and also focus on your personal life. So a little, yeah, yeah it's really difficult. So after a while, so I get myself together and I meet more people and I travel. So I didn't know about all these uh, indie makers, indie hackers, 
and everything until in the year I think uh, somewhere around 2018 so I was using Twitter and I saw a lot of posts like people were saying like what maker stuff hacker stuff and all this and I was like I'm already doing this indie stuff since like 10 years ago so you know I, I didn't have any investors um, I didn't have uh, any all those uh, the things that they mentioned I mean like mention like uh, you know what people are doing nowadays on the on the Twitter. You know, I mean, you can see Twitter you follow all these people. You know. Yeah, it's a it's a busy place. <laughs> yeah, so you know, and then I started to realize that I was really nomadic. <laughs> so I saw Peter Level's website, and I was like, whoa, nomad least. And then there's like uh, indie hackers, bootstrap. I was really doing this before all these terms came out. So I was like, wow, this is cool. This is even better. So I start connecting. That is where I found James and Danielle in the Maker's Kitchen Slack group. So you guys inspired me actually because uh, you wrote beautiful blogs about your travel and um, yeah, I love, your, I love your blog. I mean, there's so many travel blogs, but I think yours have the best content in terms of uh, explaining in details like what you have achieved, what you went through and so many things. So I got really inspired by you guys and I wanted to meet you guys last year and, and oh my god, like recently I meet you guys uh, recently so I was really honored to meet you guys. It's like a dream come true and now you guys are doing live stream and launching like version 2 of uh, Leave Me Alone app and this is exciting you know and yeah so <laughs> Oh. Yeah. So uh, yeah. So we met you in Singapore, and you actually did an interview with us for yes. one of your projects, which is Maker Maker Flix. Flix dot com. So currently, right now, um, I have about I think I've interviewed about I think six to seven uh, makers, uh, just nearby where I travel uh, in Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur. So I met about I think three four makers. I mean, just people who create something. We we don't really call makers. Maybe this makers thing is just annoying, you know, in the terms. So we yeah, just yeah, 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 yeah. Fine. It's just the buzzword, you know. So I met these guys. They are developers, and uh, they build really awesome project. And some of them are underrepresented. Like you don't see them really popular on Twitter or some social network. Yeah. So I recorded them, and uh, they have really pretty awesome business model as well. So, um, and then I recorded you, and then I just travel, and then I'm gonna compile all this into a documentary, and we'll be sharing these uh, edited videos. And then, um, the ultimate goal is actually to help people, to actually get uh, the, the, their voice out there. You know, like we watch videos on Netflix, right? Like we watch like, um, like some documentaries, or some movies, or some uh, episodes, but sometimes, they're the other side of the world where like, you know, people like nomads, entrepreneurs, you know, like solo founders, like uh, all these indie makers from side project or fun stuff or like really earning a lot of money. All these people are just like, it's just small market. Yes, it's small market, but I like to, to compile and record videos and to produce because I have experience for running a, a YouTube page with 6 million views and over 20 yeah. over subscribers in Singapore. So I had five year experience in recording videos and uh, doing a technical editing, like really um, technical stuff. So I want to produce this and share with the community because the community is the heart of people. So it's not yeah. just, yeah. Yeah, and you can give, you can bring like a more personal touch because usually we only know people from Twitter or, yeah. you know, and this gives, this gives, gives a more like personal view on, on these sorts of people that are building things. Yes. So yeah, it sounds really interesting. We'll be looking out for that. Yeah, I'm, I'm really yeah. excited to uh, launch, but right now it's just an MVP. So whatever you're seeing on the site is just uh, testing out. So I, I use a YouTube API to actually connect this. I mean, I don't, I don't monetize on YouTube API. I don't, I don't do that. Um, but I have some plans about like sponsorship stuff and like uh, how the uh, videos work. And also I've been doing for almost a year, helping uh, some other makers to launch uh, their product and I make a video launch, uh, launch videos for them, like 30 seconds. I think some of the videos is on the uh, Twitter. You can see if you, don't, if you don't know, you can ask me. I can share you the links. And some of them got number one on Product Hunt. And some of them, uh, awesome. yeah, it's, you know, there's so many uh, just news and good news. And some even didn't 
got top in product hunt but they got a lot of sales so they was like hey thanks for the video you know i got a lot of sales and i was like okay good thumbs up man keep doing what you're doing you know don't just launch and then that's it die off like that you know continue what you're doing and you do best you know yeah. oh yeah i wanted to um i wanted to ask you about that because uh like you've become you become kind of well known in the in the maker community anyway for being like someone who's always positive someone who who is always like willing to help you with anything yeah um i honestly think you're one of the most positive like friendly people that i've ever met in person so thanks thanks for that yeah i wanted to just ask you like uh do you have any tips for staying so positive all the time or oh. like, um like this is a this is a problem that a lot of people have like yeah when and you know things go bad and your product launch isn't going very well or no one's tuning into your twitch stream uh <laughs> You know, sometimes it's hard to stay positive. So, yeah, yeah. do you have any, any advice for us? It's very easy. I actually uh, launched a podcast yesterday, and uh, I didn't expect so many response or engagement on Twitter. Uh, the title of the first podcast was "Find Your Tribe for Good Vibes," meaning that you know you gotta find this tribe. You know, you don't you you have like the whole people in the community, but not everybody will have the same mindset or, or, or opinions or perspectives as you i mean it's fine it's totally fine i mean you want to say this you want to say that you want to have you know so many kind of uh, discussions go ahead but the most important thing is um creating uh compassion mm. compassion towards people so the lack of uh, people today in, in this world is compassion. So compassion is really yeah. important. I mean, of course, people get bad experience back in the days or in the past. Something like, you know, you get rejected or you make mistakes or somebody pick a fight with you or an argument or you with you or something. But one of the best tips that I could give is to be compassion. And to be compassion is you got to be sincere. And to be sincere is just doing it for the sake of doing good even the person is not uh giving the, the the good energy back to you it's fine it doesn't matter the most important thing you just keep on doing and yeah you just gotta like talk to people the problem is that people are not uh talking you know they, they are just uh hey this is my product hey i'm building this hey i want to make this money hey what should i do and then that's it and then after that they just gone i don't know where they go and then i'll be like um all right so what what do you what what you know people are different so i, I can't judge on that yeah. yeah but the most important is just keep on being compassionate so every day you gotta find your tribe for the good vibes and one of the best communities that i'm in right now is make a lock and it's founded by sergio Mate. he's from puerto rico and also you are in there and also the other rest uh, the rest of the other guys so i felt yeah. that yeah Four thousand users now. Yeah, Four thousand users! Oh my goodness! Congratulations, Sergio! <laughs> if you're listening to this, congrats, bro! And he's building co-work too. Yeah, and um, and another way, perspective of like being positive or like being a person, a community person. You know, I don't look out for like um, uh, for fame or anything like uh, to get benefits in terms of monetary or like. Uh, like you know rewards or anything we just do it sincerely because like uh, i think the most important is retention in terms of retention communication for the long run you want to build relationship with people for the long run you might not need them now or leverage them now but later on like in six months or in one year you want to have this communication with them and you say hey you know what I'm, I'm this i'm doing that and then you can share with them and what you think about this product or this feedback or anything that uh that is you know, doing the right thing. Yeah. So that's awesome. Yeah, really good attitude. Like, I really respect that. Thank you so that's much, good. James. Um, so I just wanted to ask you one more thing about your life. So you've been posting a lot, like quite recently, about your health, and uh, oh, yes. I know you have... <laughs> you're laughing, but yeah, I know you had a bit of a bit of a health scare like a few months ago. Yeah. Um, and like, I'm sure this is a problem that affects like quite a lot people and, and not a lot of people talk about it right. um so like it's been nice to see like your updates and see that you're that you're progress. helping yourself to get more healthy and like you're real showing all of your progress yeah um and be super open about it yeah uh, 
Yeah, uh, so I just wanted to, well, I just want to say congratulations on like Thank you. 19 to Thank 5 you. kilograms in a month or something. You know, I lost 5 kg. 5 kg, yeah. you know, is not miracle, but it's something that everybody should actually focus on. Like, you know, being positive is not, it's not just reading books, listen to podcasts, follow somebody on Twitter and chat with them and maybe earning some money or travel or whatever the lifestyle is. But we're saying about lifestyle, like being healthy, like being healthy is totally different. You got, you know, I was very sick. And then like, you know, most of my time, okay, I used to be a smoker, you know, I quit smoking for four times in my life. So I'm a heavy smoker. So, you know, at night I got like stressed with certain things on the laptop to do some tasks or some work. So I just go down 7-Eleven and buy some cigarettes. And then the next thing, you know, I stay up all night, almost every day. So the first problem is sleeping, sleeping pattern. So second thing is um, I was gaining weight. You know, I was so lazy to cook my own food or maybe buy better food outside there or eating healthy food. But the problem is that um, I was just, uh, I didn't realize that I was growing fat. You know, I was growing fat, literally like, like fats in the neck. And then I was like, fat in the tummy so when i start walking and i was looking into myself in the mirror and i was like this is not cool man this is like what the hell is going on you know like what you happened can, you know, get yeah i mean now it's great but back then a month ago i got a first symptom so i, I i'm not proud to share this but i want to share this something that is a takeaway okay like you know i was uh, i got this symptom one day I was feeling really fatigued and I was going toilets like 20 times and peeing non-stop and then I had this whole entire arm feeling so numb and then like um, you know my eyesight you know I wear specs like gla uh, glasses not specs glasses I know this joke <laughs> you remember this yeah. Joke? yeah so I was wearing these glasses and then suddenly like my power the degree went up so I was like using the phone I was like Usually we use, we use phone like this, right? So suddenly I, I, I read text like this. I was like, like old man, old woman. And I was like, what in the world? So I got all these symptoms and, um, you know, I think I almost get stroke, you know? So I go online, I did some research and there was uh, this uh, pre-diabetes uh, form to sign up that is got to do with the Ministry of Health in Singapore. So I took the test and I took the blood test and the result came and I was like in a state of sadness because the doctor was like, hey, you see, you have diabetes, you know, your, your blood sugar, you know, is so high, you know, your, your, your triglycerides and, uh, you know, cholesterol is high. And I was like, what? And I was so sad. You know, I started, you know, I, the moment I got that news, I started to um, think like, what can I do? So I started diet for one week. And I start to change everything in my refrigerator. I start throwing every single food that is unhealthy. So I start buying, I go to the grocery stores and start buying all the healthy food. So I plan my nutrition. So there was this lady, she's from Russia. Um, she's, her name is Christina, uh, the husband, uh, the wife of uh, um, uh, Constantine. Uh, you can find them on Twitter. And they, she's a certified nutritionist and she did a calculation for me like breakfast, snack, uh, lunch and dinner and she calculated because everybody have different height and weight for their uh, nutrition facts, you know, like, like their calorie intake and all that. So she was doing me yeah. doing that for me and I was like, okay, oh, this food have this calorie and, you know, every time you buy food and there's like all these uh, nutrition facts and how many, you know, I don't really, yeah. I don't really read all this, you know, back in the days. So when I got sick <laughs> and I was like, I need to read this, you know, I, I need to start reading this. This is so important, you know, whatever I'm eating is affecting my mind and my heart and literally my body. So I started to buy and one week later, I took the second blood test just to assure that was when I met you uh, in Singapore. And the result was like, oh my God, I'm diagnosed with type two diabetes. I was like, I have to take medicine now. So I have to take metformin, the pill and also uh, glipizide so every breakfast and every dinner can you imagine for like three months the doctor is asking me okay Fajar you you have to take medication now you know you got to control your blood sugar but I was already starting to diet so I'm okay with eating all the healthy food the vegetables and stuff and then I bring one plate 
Oh, no problem. Oh, you're feeling hot right now? Yeah, it's, it's really warm. It's really warm? <laughs> oh, no. Okay. So, and then uh, after one month, and uh, like... I, I do a lot of swimming. I swim a lot. So I swim like uh, from one lap to three laps, and then I can do 10 laps now. And um, I'm so glad. Yeah. So I lost 5 kg, and now I'm, I'm still uh, going towards the goal to 10 kg. So I need to lose at least 10 kg, and after three months, I'll go another blood test and to check whether uh, I still need to take the medication or not because I hate taking medication. It's so annoying, you know. You gotta, yeah. you gotta bring the medication everywhere, you know, and you gotta like wake up early. I mean, it's good. Sleeping is really important, guys. Like a lot of people, especially developers or designers or just business owners, they stay up late, you know, finding information, mm. doing research, and talking to people, or even go out late. And they don't sleep before 10 or 11 p.m. So sleeping is so important and drinking yeah, yeah and drinking warm water. So this is it helps me. So dieting. Mango juice. Oh, mango, uh, mango juice once in a while because it's high in sugar <laughs> once in a while. <laughs> but I have I have mango minutes now on podcast. So I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm doing the I'm second ready. episode, second episode. And guess who? The first time ever, I'm going to invite uh, somebody in the, the, the community space, which is uh, Dinuka. So Dinuka will be the next. Dinuka will this be is, my next episode. This is your podcast. Yeah, the podcast. So you have a podcast I didn't mention called Mango Minutes. Yeah, no, 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 it's okay. So Mango Minutes, you know, it's just, I, how do I get this name? And people was like, what the hell is Mango Minutes, you know? So I like to I drink. Love I, I love mango, you know, I love to, I love to eat mango. It's so delicious, you know? And um, I was logging tasks on make a lot mango, and then slash, uh, hashtag life, and then you know Peter Levels and everybody and Sergio and you know they was like making fun. I was like, hey, Fajar mango. So and then after that, uh, I meet, I started to meet them in real life. Yeah. Yeah. So I was so before we we um we sign off because this is like twenty five minutes almost. So this is good good length. Um, I wanted to say like with your with your health stuff, are you using any apps that you can recommend uh, like for? Yeah. Good sleeping or tracking calories or anything. Right. So, uh, I'm sure that there's a lot of people out there who, okay. you know, want, find it difficult to take care of their health because, because they're working all the time, they're shipping too hard. That's right. Uh, so I thought, like, is there anything, anything you can recommend to help okay. people out then that would be useful? Whatever you do when you eat with the plate, the plate on your table, everything is, uh, is all in this palm size, this portion. Yeah. And and second thing, um, I use this app called My Fitness Pal. I've been using yeah. it since 2016, but I kind of like just log out and didn't use. And basically, they have uh, the calorie intake. They are the the, the most accurate. Uh, they are almost their accurate uh, like calorie intake. But other platform, I'm not so sure because uh, I've asked a few nutritionists about this, and also exercise. And then uh, the rest is just uh, the smartwatch, and then count your steps, and you know your blood pressure and stuff like that so this is about uh the apps that i'm using and the rest is just control your food intake not say you know strictly diet but once in a while don't get deprived have some nice um you know like ice cream maybe yeah. <laughs> or maybe something nice so before before i think we should end this life you know i'm just gonna share with you uh some yo-yo tricks would that be great? Oh, yeah, I do. Yeah, definitely. I'm actually preparing this for all the people actually watching right now. I mean, I do not know how many people is watching. Maybe you can give me the stats. How many people right now is watching? Uh, how many have we got? Sixteen live right now. Wow! I think. Congrats, sixteen people are watching live. And uh, okay, I'm a professional Euro player. Uh, I got sponsored by this US company named Duncan Toys for almost 14 years and I've been playing yo-yo for 20 years. Okay, I perform, I judge and I'm a mentor in the yo-yo community scene and here we go. So this is called... Yeah. Yeah. We have a drum roll in chat. <laughs> okay, well, let me just get the chair away first. So this is two-way yo-yo, the two-way style. So I'm gonna do this looping trick. Yeah. It played my mind. <laughs> yeah, it's fun magic. Oh my goodness. 
I don't know how well this is translating to stream. Like, yeah. I don't know what okay. how the frame rate is. This is just a little bit trick. <laughs> Second of all, yep. I'm going to show you an off-string tr off trick. Basically, the string, okay. the string is not attached to I'm the yo-yo. Okay, the string is not attached to the yo-yo. Okay, you see? I'm gonna catch back. You don't and, I'm gonna, <laughs> and you can see up here is a fan, you know? So you gotta be careful with that. So, <laughs> yeah. I don't wanna hit myself. Yeah, no accidental on screen face. Yeah. Fatality. Yeah, fatality. <laughs> it's incredibly fast. Yeah. It? And then I'm gonna fast. I'm gonna take another yo-yo, the second yo-yo. Okay, one more. This is a little bit hard. This trick is called solo ham. It's like a hamster running on the ferries on the wheels. Okay. <laughs> Two yo-yos. Good luck. Two yo-yos. Two yo yo's and one of them's not on a string. <laughs> right, so check it out. Oh, oh, oh. It's coming off there. Oh my god, this is amazing. Catch it. Woo! Thank you everybody for tuning the live stream, and that is some yo yo tricks. Okay? Thanks for joining, man. It's been awesome. Thank you, you so wanna, much. Before you go, let people know where to find you on Twitter and yeah. your URLs. Any products? Yeah! <laughs> Awesome. Okay. So you're your Fajar City FS on Twitter. Yeah, just follow, leave any questions or answers, DM me, whatever you want, but don't share anything like virus. Don't share any virus. Right. right. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. You're most welcome. Have a great day. Have a good live stream. Hope the connection is good. Have a great launch in version two. And uh, stay safe. And uh, hi, Dan. Where's Dan? Hi. <laughs> right. And thank you so much for for hosting this live stream. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for joining. Bye. Bye. Bye.